Welcome to another episode of how to make your pictures amazing in Darktable. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at a simple three-step method for noise reduction. For the example, I have a picture of a spotted sandpiper. Now this picture was taken in very low light, and as you can see, there is a lot of color noise in this image. Is it possible to resurrect this image and make something presentable? I think the answer is yes. So let's get to it. How can we eliminate all this noise? The first step, and one of the most important steps, is the Denoise Profiled module. If you can't find the Denoise Profiled module, simply go to the search bar under the Module tabs and type Denoise, and it will appear as one of the options. This module is very easy to use. Simply turn it on. What is the point of this module? Well, with its default options, its primary purpose is to eliminate chroma noise. Chroma noise is this random looking pattern of color you see in the image. It's important that you do not modify the options of the default mode being wavelets and the default color mode being Y0U0V0. This allows the module to eliminate only the chroma noise while leaving most or all of the details intact. There is only one setting of the Denoise Profiled module that I would recommend changing. It's the strength. If you're still seeing some unwanted color artifacts in your image, you can increase the strength a little bit. However, I have found the default setting of 1 to be a pretty good one. Now that we've taken care of the chroma noise, what do we do next? If we look at the background of this image, it still looks a little bit grainy. This is even more apparent when we zoom in. Therefore, we need to go to step 2. That's another instance of the Denoise Profiled module. In order to create a new instance of the Denoise Profiled module, simply click on the Multiple Instance Actions button and select New Instance. But this time, we are not going to use the Wavelets mode. Instead, click on the mode and select Non-Local Means. We can see that Non-Local Means did remove some of the graininess from the background. Unfortunately, applying it indiscriminately to the image also removed some of the details from the spotted sandpiper. But we can solve this problem too, because noise is more visible in a smooth background compared to a textured surface. Therefore, we only want to apply the Denoise Profiled module to a part of the image, that is, the background. In order to do this, select Drawn Mask. The window will expand and show you a bunch of options. Select Add Brush and draw over the shape of the spotted sandpiper. Aim to draw over the parts of the image that are in focus. We can see where our mask was drawn by clicking on the Display Mask button. The yellow part shows the area of the image to which the module will be applied. Of course, this is the opposite of what we want, isn't it? Well, we just have to click Invert Mask. Now this mask has a very hard transition. In order to make this transition smoother, just apply a little bit of feathering and mask blur. Now turn off the Mask Display feature to see the effect. Another important point or parameter is the strength of this module. Most images do not require a strength of 1, and in fact do pretty well with a lesser strength. Use the smallest strength that works with your image because a higher strength produces a more unnatural effect. Now one thing that you might notice after applying the second instance of the Denoise Profiled module is that the background looks a little bit like an oil painting. This just isn't very natural. Fixing this effect is the topic of step 3, the contrast equalizer. The contrast equalizer has the ability to smooth out an image, and so it's perfect for eliminating this oil painting effect. Now, we actually just want to apply the contrast equalizer only to the background because otherwise we would eliminate some detail on the bird. So let's get started. First, activate the contrast equalizer. We've already created a drawn mask for the second instance of the profiled denoise module, so click on Drawn Mask. In the area where it says No Mask Used, Click on the drop down. You'll see that you have a bunch of masks available. Click on Use the same shape as Denoise Profiled. Now the mask you created in step 2 will appear. However, the settings for the mask will not. So do the same as you did before. Invert the mask and add a little blur and feathering. Now what do we do with the contrast equalizer? Go to the bottom of the graph and drag up ever so slightly the four points on the right hand side. Be very subtle, don't overuse this effect. All you need is a little bit. This minor addition smooths the background just a little, but it makes it look a lot better. And that's it! Those are the three steps you need to denoise a very noisy image. Of course, you can tweak the process a little bit for each individual image, but these three steps will help you get 90% of the way there. 
And now that you've done that, you can go on to add a little bit more color, perhaps a little bit more contrast on the bird, and maybe change the white balance a little bit. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you again next time.